As Malaysia's COVID cases rise, the government is forced to establish multiple vaccination centers in order to speed up the rate of vaccinations. UTAR's campus becomes a drive through vaccination station, assisting the government in their efforts to vaccinate the public. COVID-19 continues to spread in Malaysia. On July 13th, the COVID-confirmed cases in Malaysia per day passed 10,000. As the cases rise every day, the Director General of Health, Noor Hisham, warns citizens to strictly follow COVID prevention measures while signing up to receive vaccinations. We discovered that vaccinations will reduce the chance of hospitalization. As of now, we found the Delta and Beta variants. After receiving the vaccination, we still can get infected, but the chance to infect others is reduced by half. In order to speed up vaccination plans, the Malaysian government has established multiple vaccination centers in government clinics, public halls, university halls, and sports stadiums. UTR's campus will also become a vaccination station, as citizens may receive shots here. There's a vaccination center in UTAR. It is at a university hall, but since the hall is small, only 600 people can receive vaccinations. So if we want to increase the vaccination rate, we need a larger space. There's another space next to our campus with larger space and more parking lots. It's a more ideal location for a vaccination center. If we can utilize that, then we can guide some people from the campus to this place for vaccination. UTR's drive through vaccination station shares the vaccination workload with Campar's vaccination center. After receiving the first vaccine, citizens may remain in their vehicle as the process becomes quick and easy. Though UTR has their own medical department, the medical team is at a different campus. Facing this issue, team members in Perak arrive to help. I am grateful to these medical workers. They took a day off. A doctor even closed his clinic on Mondays to come over to help us with vaccinations. As the pandemic grows serious, it is important to work together, reaching the final goal of herd immunity. Because setting up a vaccination isn't that easy, we need to talk to related departments and request certifications. I'm thankful to many people who stood out. For example, St. John Ambulance provided us with an ambulance parked at the vaccination center. We are also thankful to TEMA because they have sent over 20 doctors and volunteers to help. It is hoped that citizens can get vaccinated soon, bring an end to COVID-19.